Hi everyone, let's have a look at how we can find and install plugins in MuseCore 4 because there are some really good ones on the internet that have just been made by people, uh, so why not use them and speed up your workflow? A Google search for MuseCore plugins will get you here at musecore.org and I've got English plugins, I'll put this link in the, in the description. And there are plenty of plugins to choose from. So just as an example today, I'm going to use one that I have used before, which I found really good, is the Chord Level Selector. So I'll just select that. And uh, the top of the page tells you what it does and maybe gives you some examples, which are very useful. And at the bottom, we have an attachment, which is the Chord Level Selector.qml. And so we can download that. And so I've downloaded that QML file. And now I'll need to, let's put this on the right side. Uh, because I'm on Wiz Windows 10, I'll go to Local Disk, Program Files, MuseScore 4, and Plugins. And here are the already existing plugins. And so I can just drag the chord selector in there. It will ask me for permission. If you are not on Windows, then you can go to, let's just find it. Windows is not there. Okay, so the handbook is not particularly useful at the moment, but I would say go to Preferences, General Folders in MuseCore. Let's do that. So you can go to Folders and then check the plugin's location. Although this is interesting because my one is not looking there when I add these plugins. So this is really interesting. Um, maybe it has some other plugin folders as well. Uh, perhaps it would be better to add it in your user. Um, but anyway, for, if you're on macOS, go and check where that is and move or copy your plugin to that location, as I've done. Then we'll just need to restart MuseCore. And now we need to enable that plugin. So it can go to plugins. I'm in the Home tab and go to Plugins. And this is the plugin that I was looking for. This plugin doesn't have a good naming structure and it doesn't have a nice um, pretty picture to go with it, but it is that one. It is the chord level selector and it's currently enabled because I can disable it. Uh, and you can see these ones down here are all disabled at the moment and we can enable them, say to re remove courtesy accidentals, I can enable, etc. cetera. Um, so that's enabled. Now I can go to my score so I want to use it on these 16 bars and I'll go plugins, run plugin, and then it works. Now I know that I'm going to be using this one a lot. So I'm going back to home and plugins and this one I can edit the shortcut. So let's do that. And it brings up our usual shortcuts uh, and it's got it already selected run plugin chord level selector, which is great, a nice quick way to change the shortcut. And so I'll just click on it and define. And I'm going to say Alt S because that's not being used. If I tried to use Control S, they would say, no, you can't. Well, you could redo it, but why would you want to? Because that's already save. So I'll use Alt S, which I know is not currently assigned to anything. So let's save that. Click OK. Back to my score. And now select again. That's using Shift and End to select to the end of the score and then I'll use Alt S and I've got my shortcut right there. Very, very handy. So yeah, um, go and check that out. If you're interested, you might want to go and check out the handbook as well. Uh, it might have a few more things like if you happen to need to download things from the GitHub, uh, some of the plugins might be only on GitHub and not available as a .qml file, um, but they tell you all about that. So I'll leave that in the description as well. Happy playing around with plugins. There are plenty of great ones to work with. So enjoy.